All right, what's up guys? It's Brady here back with another video and in this video we're gonna bust another myth Yes, another myth last week. We busted one this week We're busting another one uh, about all about building muscle and getting bigger And this is something that a lot of people don't quite understand correctly So hopefully this is pretty informative and you learned something that you're gonna be able to apply directly into your training Right away last week. We busted a big muscle building myth this week. We're busting one um, I'm excited. So let's get into it if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe Subscribe and also go down below. We're actually giving our new subscribers a free program. We know that you guys are go-getters. We want to get you started on a, one of our programs right away. So this is a free big arm program um, that you can download. No strings attached down below. I think you're going to find it highly effective and it is our gift to you uh, for checking out our video. So go check that out. But yeah, let's get straight into this. So the big myth is that you have to get strong or be strong in order to build muscle. We see this myth all over the place. Influencers these days are uh, creating strength-based programs because strength comes really fast. Size is pretty hard to build. Strength is pretty easy to build. So they build these strength programs so that their clients see quick results and they think they're gonna get bigger from it. But in reality, they're so focused on strength that they're not focused enough on getting bigger. And yes, they are different and not actually that closely related. Now you can get stronger and bigger at the same time, but it's not actually a prerequisite. So let's say that your main goal is building as much muscle as possible. Same here, I get it. You don't actually have to get stronger in order to do that. And in fact, you probably shouldn't be running a strength-based program if that is your goal. Now this is like the basically the opposite of what the industry is telling us at the moment, but hear me out. Now what people mistakenly think is if their strength progress plateaus in the gym, then they're not getting bigger anymore. And, and that's not really true, but I understand that that would be extremely dejecting and uh, definitely halt your progress in the gym because it's just not motivating to go if you're not gonna see the results that you wanna see. Size is primarily built from intensity and volume while strength is built by increasing your muscle recruitment. To make that super simple to understand, strength is literally a skill. You're teaching your brain to be able to recruit more muscle so that you can lift better. So the bench press, for instance, you're going to get better at bench press by practicing the bench press like you would any other skill and tr basically training your brain to be able to recruit more muscle fibers in order to lift more weight. Typically, this will happen by lifting heavier weights um, but at a lower volume. Now, Building muscle actually involves high volume at a high intensity because building muscle is really hard to do if it was easy, everyone in the gym would be jacked, but it's not easy. And there is a really perfect balance between high intensity and volume that's going to make your muscles grow. And if you were to train like that, you would not get stronger. But on the other hand, if you train for strength, you won't actually get much bigger. Progressive overload is being able to increase your workload over time so that your muscles have to keep adapting and growing. Now what we see is an incorrect use of progressive overload. We see this all the time guys and I want you to look in and see if you're doing it and stop if you are. But basically progressive overload is an increase of your workload. So like weight reps or sets increasing over time. But people think that you have to increase your weight on a weekly basis. So they think okay I started here next week I'm going to add 5 pounds. I'm going to add 5 pounds the next week and 5 pounds the next week. But that's realistically not how it goes and it's not actually important to do that. If you're able to increase your weight weekly like that, you're probably not lifting heavy enough at the very beginning of a training block. Now there are a few times that you're going to see an increase in your strength. One is gonna be at the beginning of a training block using new variations. Obviously, that's the time that you're doing a new lift. You're gonna get stronger really quick at it. And then also after a deload, after you take about a week off to let your body recover fully, you might see a little bit of strength increase there too. But the truth of the matter is, if you're constantly getting stronger or constantly adding weight to the bar every single week, the truth is you're not actually doing enough volume. Your body is able to adapt to the stimulus. You're giving it way too easily and you're actually leaving gains on the table by training that way. You should be training in a way Way where you actually stall at your strength. You're not able to get stronger because you have so much volume accumulated. And when I talk about volume, 
I'm not gonna talk about increasing the weight every single week like we just discussed, but I'm talking about increasing the amount of sets you're doing, maybe even increasing the amount of reps you're doing and the overall intensity. And by intensity, I mean how close you're getting to failure. So the best muscle building program would basically be the perfect amount of volume that you're not able to get stronger from because it's high volume, but also the intensity is high where you're taking almost every single set to almost near failure. So let's recap. Progressive overload is not adding weight every single week. If that's the case, you're doing it wrong. You should be adding sets to the point where you can't add weight every week. And if you start seeing a massive decrease in your strength, then you're probably overdoing it and you need to deload and step back on your volume. You don't actually have to get stronger in order to get bigger. They're completely separate. And if you're always getting stronger, you're probably leaving gains on the table and not getting as big as you could get. But yes, guys, that is the video. Hopefully this helps you with your fitness goals. If you're like me, you're trying to build as much muscle as possible don't worry so much about the strength progress in the gym focus more on the ability to recover at high in volume and high intensity if you're in that high volume high intensity range stick at it consistently over time work hard in the gym day in and day out and you're going to see the best gains of your life and if you keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger that's great too but you, you're probably not doing enough volume and you need to increase the amount of sets that you're doing every single week hopefully this helped you out and make sure to give this video a like if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. But guys, we post videos every single week. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And we are going to see you in next week's video. Have a good one. Peace out.